So um, the review. So this this assignment X is a review for the uh, trig test. So um, real quick here, we have a 45, 45, 90, right? So right away, if I label the sides M, M is M root 2. Right away, we know B is just going to be 2 root 2. And we know A is going to be, you're going to have to do 2 root 2 times root 2, which gives you 2 times 2, which is 4. Okay. The next one, we have M, M, M root 2. So here, I have to solve this equation for M. Right? So if M root 2 is equal to 6, that's going to give me 6 root 2 over 2, which is going to give you 3 root 2. So each of these sides would be 3 root 2. So those are 45, 45, 90s. Now, the next one, we're looking for this angle, right? Since we have a right triangle, we can go ahead and use trig. So if I label the sides I know, this is the opposite side, this is the adjacent side. So right away, we're going to say that angle, uh, we're going to say the tangent of that angle, we'll call it theta, is equal to 27 over 38. And when we do the inverse tangent of 30 divided by, or so, sorry, the inverse tangent of 27 divided by 38. <clears throat> You get approximately 35 degrees. Okay, the next one here is the side opposite. Here's the hypotenuse. Since it's a right triangle, we're going to go ahead and use trig. So we're going to say the sine of that angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is 39. And whenever we're looking for an angle, we're going to say it's the inverse sine of 10 over 39. Inverse sine of 10 over 39. And you should get about 15 degrees. Okay. Number five, when you're looking for a side, you know, right away, if I have a right triangle, if I can't use 36 and 90 or 45, 45, 90, we're going to use trig. So we're going to say a sine of 24 degrees. Oh, not sine. Excuse me. This would be the tangent of 24 degrees is equal to the side opposite over the side adjacent. So in this case, we would multiply 12 times tangent of 24. And right away, that would give us 12 and 24, about 5.3. Over here, we're given opposite and hypotenuse. So we're going to use the sine of 51 degrees is equal to, this would be opposite 14 over hypotenuse x. Remember, if x is in the denominator, we divide to find the side length. So 14 divided by the sine of 51 degrees, and you get that length would be about 18 units long. Okay. So number seven, a person casts a shadow 21 feet, right? So if you have this person, they cast a shadow, and the shadow is 21 feet at an angle of elevation of 16 degrees. What is the height of the person? There's your setup. So we're going to say the tangent, right, of 16 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. So that would give you 21 times the tangent of 16. And 21 tan 16 would give you about 6.02. So we're going to say about six feet tall. Okay, the next one, the sun casts a shadow of a pine tree, right, on the ground. The tree is 65 feet tall. The angle of depression is 53.4. Remember, that would be this angle. 
So we're going to say this here. Estimate the length of the shadow. That would be x. So we're going to say the tangent of 53.4 is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Since x is in the denominator, we would go ahead and divide. And that would give you about 48.3 feet long. Okay. Now as we continue, you lean a ladder against a wall. So if I have a ladder and it's leaned against the wall, the 18 foot ladder, all right, has an angle of elevation of 70. How far is the base from the wall? That would be X. So that would give us the sign, or sorry, not the sign. So this is the adjacent side. It's the hypotenuse. We're going to say cosine of 70 degrees is equal to x over 18. So 18 cosine of 70, about 6.2. All right. You lean a ladder against a wall, it reaches 14 feet high on the wall. So remember, this is 14 now. The base of the ladder is two and a half feet from the bottom of the wall, right? What is the angle of elevation? So we're looking for that angle. So we're gonna say the tangent of that angle is equal to 14 over 2.5. And when we're looking for an angle, we use the inverse. Inverse tangent of 14 divided by 2.5 would give you about 80 degrees. Okay. Number 11, when we go to use law of sines, right, to complete this, we have angle A, which is 70 degrees. You have B and you have C. <clears throat> we know little c is going to be 26. Little a is 25. So the first thing we're going to do is a sine of 70 over 25 is equal to the sine of C over 26. When I cross multiply to solve for C, I'm going to get 25 times the sine of C is equal to 26 times the sine of 70. So again, I cross multiplied I cross multiplied this way, then I cross multiplied this way. So the sine of C is equal to 26 sine 70 divided by 25. And we're going to say C is the inverse sine of that amount. So 26 sine 70 divided by 25. Remember to put that in your calculator, numerator first, denominator second. You get 0.977. When I take the inverse sign of that number, you get about 78 degrees. So angle C would be about 78 degrees. And right away, 180 minus 70 minus 78. That would give us angle B, which would be about 32 degrees. And now to find side length B, we're going to use sine of 32 over B equals sine of 70 over 25. So B times the sine of 70 equals 25 sine 32. So now 25 sine 32, enter, divided by the sine of 70. All right, would give you B is approximately 14.1. Oh. units long. Okay. Number 12, when you look at number 12, Right? Right now we have this triangle. You have A, you have B, you have C. Little a is 14, little b is 9, little c is 6. 
So for this one, just let you know, we're going to find the largest angle first. So we're going to find angle A, right? And we would do 14 squared. This one we have to use law of cosines because I don't know an angle in the side opposite. So 14 squared equals B squared, which would be 9 squared, plus C squared, which would be 6 squared, minus 2 times B times C times the cosine of angle A. So right away when you go to solve this, we're going to do 14 squared. We're going to subtract the 9 squared, subtract the 6 squared, right? And when we do negative 2 times 9 times 6, so we're going to take 79 divided by a negative 108. And then we're going to take the inverse cosine of that. And you should get A is approximately 137 degrees. Okay. You would duplicate that to find B and uh, C. Um, before the time runs out on the video, I do want to get to these. So Ann and Betty are both taking or looking at a spot on the ceiling. So you got the spot here. All right. So you have Ann here. You have Betty here. Okay. Now, the angle of elevation from and to the spot right, it's 53 degrees. And from Betty to the spot is 44 degrees. They are 10 feet apart. Find the distance between Ann and the spot, we'll call that X, and Betty in the spot, we'll call that Y. So right here, if we call this C, what you have to know is we're not going to use law of cosines here. What we're going to use is law of sines. Because if I find this missing angle, 180 minus 53 minus 44 is 83 degrees. Now I can find those using the law of sines. So the sine of 53 degrees, right, over y is equal to the sine of 83 over 10. And when I cross multiply and solve here, I get y is equal to 10 sine 53, all divided by the sine of 83. And then when I set up to find x, it's going to be the sine of 44 over x is equal to uh, the sine of 83 over 10. And x would give me 10 sine 44 all divided by the sine of 83. When you solve for each of these, Betty is about, um, ends up being about eight feet away, and then Ann is about nine feet away. Okay, next one, a triangle has sides 6, 9, and 14, find the largest angle. So if I go to find the largest angle here, we have A, we have B, we have C, all right, now say 6, 9, and 14. So you know angle B is going to be the largest angle because it's opposite the longest side. So we're going to have to use law of cosines here. B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2AC times the cosine of angle B. So remember, cosine of angle B would be equal to if I plug everything in, it's going to be 14 squared equals 6 squared plus 9 squared minus 2 times 6 times 9 times the cosine of B. And remember, you would end up doing 14 squared minus 6 squared. So 14 squared minus 6 squared um, minus 9 squared, which that will give you... 79 equals 108 times the cosine of B. So right now, cosine of B is equal to the, oops, is equal to 79 over 108. So B is equal to the inverse cosine of 79 over 108, which ends up being 137 degrees.